pieces. Um, rough cut out. This is on a piece of one inch thick poplar. And the reason I chose poplar is because this is just a prototype. So this is going to be the first one that I'm building. It's a cheap piece of wood, something that if you screw it up, it's no big deal. We'll make this one completely out of poplar once we get everything where we want it. And we can come back through and use a piece of, you know, whatever. Whatever wood we decide to go with. But for now, we got poplar. we got to cut out rough. The next thing we got to do is sand the sides down smooth. Now I got a template over there I'm going to pull up and we're going to, I got to uh, get it matched up to this body also. That way I got a template for everyone I build after this. And also on this one, I think I'm going with a set neck instead of a bolt on neck. I was thinking about going with a through neck on it for a little bit, but it's either going to be a bolt on or set, but I think I'm going to go with a set neck. So this is the neck. This is actually a through neck. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off in this first pickup area here and then we can use that on that guitar with a three, the 3x3 three three peg head on this one and uh, a rosewood fretboard is probably 20, we'll see what I can get. If I can get 24 frets I'll put 24 on, if not we'll probably put 22 on. This is a neck that I took out of a guitar that I built about two years ago and turned it into a bolt on neck. So this will be perfect for a set neck. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my template, get it up here, probably get it double stick taped onto the front of this thing, and then from there I'll take it over to the spindle sander and just get it sanded down. Back from the spindle sander, and I got the sides sanded down. Now they're not dead perfect, but they're close enough to move on to the next stage. We'll come back through with the sanding block and get them dead perfect, but we got all the cut marks off and stuff like that, which is cool. Now this is one inch thick, and this is going to be the back of the guitar. And I'm going to go ahead and glue a cap on this, probably of half to five eighths of an inch thick, and probably be maple is what my plans are. So it'll be, you know, so whenever the, the guitar comes out, it'll have either like a mahogany back with a maple cap, or a walnut back with a maple, maple cap or something like that. Haven't decided yet what, but it's going to have that. So there's still going to be another piece glued on top of this. We've got to get this front sanded down smooth, and we'll glue on a, you know, the cap. But the next thing we're going to do is work on this neck. I'm going to go ahead and take this over to the chop saw and cut this off. That way we got the neck ready to go. And I did some measuring and I think I got enough room I can get 24 frets on this thing. So that will be cool. Get 24 frets, a rosewood fretboard, and I'm going to try to come up with some pretty cool inlays for on this. I went ahead and cut my neck off at the back of the, or at the front of the, of the pocket that was on there. I threw that piece away. So this through neck was pretty much wasted anyways, that's why I'm using this. Um, just the, the way it was cut out of the other body and everything pretty much made it useless for a through neck. But you can still use it as a bolt on neck or a, a um, set neck. Now it's still kind of thick, it's like two inches here, so this has to be cut back to you know whatever I decide to cut it back to once I get it set that. But I won't do that until we get closer to cutting in the neck pocket and stuff like that. We'll cut it back to the, to the probably like an inch or inch and a quarter or something like that depending on how thick we end up making the body. And all this red is just stained. I'm going to have to reshape this back end a little bit. It's a little bit thick right now. It's about 24 millimeters. I'm going to get it down to probably right around 20 millimeters. So we'll take about 4 millimeters off. So all this red will be gone. It'll be back to the maple, natural maple. This binding is going to come off. We'll put binding back on. I'm not sure what color yet, depending on what color the guitar is. Um, and we might put a veneer over top this front of this um, peg head also. But that's all down the road from here. So that's done. And I don't got a cap for this right now. So I'm going to go ahead and work on getting this thing flattened out, getting rid of this glue, getting this thing all ready to glue up. That way I can get my maple cap glued onto this thing. And then from there we can start getting rid of the set of neck and lay out the whole rest of the body. But that's going to do it for me here today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.